What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'm going to talk about what we're going to get with the update 1.11, which is going to be released, of course, at 11 p.m. Pacific time tonight. That will be 2 a.m. Uh, Eastern tomorrow morning. Treyarch went ahead and released the patch notes for this. I will link them down in the description below if you guys would like to read over them. The first thing they talked about was double XP kicking off this weekend starting February the 5th and running until February the 8th. If you're on PS4 or PS5, this double XP will start one day earlier which will be tomorrow, February the 4th, and run until February the 8th. They addressed an issue that led to choppy voice chat in some circumstances. Of course, the ex new Express map, the new 6v6, the remastered uh, version of Express, will have its own 24-7 playlist. And they, they said they also addressed an issue where the uneven map distribution was happening in non-map voting playlist. Now, the interesting thing that I have found out kind of about these patch notes as I read through them, there was not a lot of changes to weapons in multiplayer i was kind of expecting to see some changes in that but i guess the meta is kind of where they want it they did talk about the new endurance mode which is added into fire team dirty bomb this has a doubled score limit from 500 up to a thousand now there will be five bombs and they're always going to be out this is not going to be like regular fire team dirty bomb where you go in destroy you know a bomb and then you have to go to the next one and you kind of go to get down to the last one and then it kind of starts over every time a bomb is destroyed a new bomb will take its place they added new maps to Prop Hunt, Rotation, Express, Raid, Crossroad, Strike, and Armada Strike. They added new uh, Nuketown 84 to gun, uh, the Gunfight map rotation, 2v2 and 3v3 Gunfight, now available in custom games. Updated hardpoint owned score event in, to increase in score the longer a player controls the hardpoint. Uh, also reduced hardpoint secure score event from 50 to 25 score. In Dropkick, they reduced how late players can join in a match in progress and increase the player count to allow for two spectators in CDL Hardpoint, CDL Search and Destroy, and CDL Control. Of course, that is for the Pro League custom game CDL set. Uh, the featured playlist this week, which will be coming out tomorrow, will be Express 24-7, uh, Endurance Fireteam Dirty Bomb, Gunfight Blueprints, Prop Hunt, four, of course, the four added maps that we talked about there in the rotation, 3v3 Gunfight Snipers Only, Face Off 3v3, and Nuketown 24-7. Some other things they did uh, with some of the weapons uh, in multiplayer, actually one of the weapons is increase the minimum damage for the two launcher class weapons. So you have a little bit better damage now with the launchers did not give any specific stats on that uh, with this kind of, you know, within these patch notes. They decreased the hip fire accuracy, uh, accuracy when priming a grenade while sprinting and addressed an issue where players inside smoke from a smoke grenade could gain aim assist against players outside the smoke. Uh, that was a big issue. That was one thing that the CDL, the pro players, had banned smoke because of this. And I'm sure a lot of you have probably thrown down a smoke grenade in a multiplayer match, and you could tell you had a lot of aim assist whilst people aiming in towards you in the smoke had none whatsoever. I thought it was interesting that it decreased the hip fire accuracy when uh, priming a grenade while sprinting because a lot of people take advantage. I'm sure you guys have seen uh, people taking advantage of gung-ho, just kind of running around with a grenade in their hand and a shotgun and pretty much destroying everybody. I know it's a big thing in hard, uh, hardcore. A lot of people complain about that. I'm not sure if this is going to completely fix it. We'll kind of have to wait and see what happens when this update is out tomorrow. Most all of the changes were kind of, kind of came with zombies because we know we're going to get the new Firebase Z map tomorrow. Uh, Express Onslaught will now be available on PS4 and PS5. The new featured playlist in zombies will be Firebase Z Endless, Firebase Z Round 20, Dead Ops Arcade Solo, Advanced Start, and Onslaught Express, of course, on PS4 and PS5. Uh, when it comes to perks in the new zombie map, we know Tombstone Soda is making a return. And also they addressed an issue that prevented Quick Revive from reducing the time it takes to regenerate to full health. They also uh, added the Napalm Strike into zombies, the Artillery Strike into zombies, and the Self Revive now will only drop if a player in the game can equip it. So you will not see Self, -redri uh, self Revive drop on the ground now if you cannot equip it. I know that's kind of annoying to begin with. You'll get Self Revive in some early rounds and you don't need it just yet. And they addressed an issue that allowed duplicating the sentry uh, turret support item. Uh, when it comes to weapons for zombies, they increased the critical hit damage on all assault rifles and the max uh, ammo stock. They increased the uh, critical hit damage on all LMGs, I mean, excuse me, all SMGs, and increased the max ammo stock. The same thing for shotguns. They did increase the range of the street sweeper shotgun in zombies. And they addressed an issue that prevented attachments from appearing on the Western Justice weapon blueprint in zombies. 
Also, armor uh, level one will now replace the first armor shard drop in game when no pl when players have no armor at all. Uh, also, some other things that they did, of course, was mess with the challenges inside of zombies. Some few things uh, with some bugs and issues with Dead Ops Arcade. Uh, like I said, most of all the uh, um, improvements really for the modes within this update were mainly for zombies. Not a whole lot for multiplayer. Besides just some general, you know, uh, visual fixes, stability fixes, things like that. You know, the crash fixes, you know, exploits, anything of that kind of nature for zombies and multiplayer both. Uh, a lot of, you know, bug fixes for zombies, a lot of exploit fixes for zombies as well. Uh, and of course for PC, they had the added the various crash fixes uh, or the various crash fixes for PC. That's kind of a thing they always do when it comes to uh, uh, PC updates. They always seem to just have that various crash fix nothing really described about what the crashes are they're fixing also um they fixed the crash that would occur on pc in theater mode and they also fixed a crash that could prevent the game from starting under some conditions on windows 7 besides that guys is pretty much it for the update not a whole lot like i said i was kind of surprised we didn't get more for um you know kind of for uh, multiplayer there's looks like there's going to be another update maybe around the 8th because today Treyarch did announce league play is going to be coming out on the 8th I'm going to make a separate video kind of talking about that. So uh, be sure to check that out here on the channel. Guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts about update 1.1. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.